bathrooms, wet rooms, upstairs en suites, downstairs loos. Whatever kind of bathroom you're looking for, you'll find it in the new Frontline catalogue. Over 200 pages of brilliant ideas in styles to suit you and your lifestyle. The new Frontline range is now available from all good plumbers, merchants and bathroom showrooms. Or to order your own free catalogue, go to frontlinebathrooms.co.uk. The Frontline Bathroom Catalogue at frontlinebathrooms.co.uk. One bathroom catalogue, thousands of ideas. Uh, best trainer probably I think James Rober. He has the tendency to make the, the most difficult things look really easy, whether it's in in the gym or out on the training field. So yeah, I'd, I'd plump for robes on that one. <music> We've got a few like a whinge. Uh, I think the two Yorkshire boys, Foz and Leon. I think when they get together, the the uh, you know it's kind of double the moans really, and you know they certainly uh, on those long trips over from Yorkshire, they must have a right good whinge on the M62. <music> Toughest tackler, I'd say Kieran. Uh, he's been doing it for years, and he? he's one of those people that you don't run straight at. It. He's uh, certainly got some whack in him, but you know, there's a few, a few of the other boys who don't mind a shot either. Oh, difficult one, best dancer. Uh, probably surprisingly, Matt Gidley's got some some decent moves, you know, but it takes some getting getting out of him. Uh, and just recently, uh, you know, on a night out, we, we managed to see see Soliola's body popping, which you know it, it, it's not bad really. I'd probably say myself though. Yeah, I'm not much much of a dance floor type person, so uh, you know, I try and avoid it as much as possible but but you know, every now and again I give it a go. <laughs> the practical jokers you know, John Wilkin always has been. Uh, you know, whether it's stuff like painting door handles or just prank phone calls, things like that, you know, wherever something's going on, you know Wilco's behind it. <laughs> yeah, Matt Gidley's quite intelligent. He's uh, you know He's well schooled, I think, and seems to know know a lot of information. But uh, you know, either him or, or John Wilkin. The brightest, uh, probably a couple of the young lads, really. I think I'd call it more naive than not the brightest. Uh, you know, Jamie Foster and, and Gary Wheeler. You know, they can come out with the most stupid things at times, but certainly gives the the boys, uh, the rest of the boys, a good chuckle. Well, it would have been Longy, but he's gone now. Longy, Longy was one for all the fancy gear, but I'd plump for. Well, Wilco thinks he is, but kind of gets it wrong every now and again. But when he gets it right, he's not too bad. <laughs> By far, it's James Graham. Uh, if it's not grey, he doesn't worry. <laughs> the young lads collectively: uh, Sean McGuinness, Johnny Lomax, Gary Wheeler, uh, Jamie Ellis. When they, Jamie Foster, when they go in the gym, they put on the worst tunes ever uh, and basically just blows your eardrums to pieces. <laughs> Best roommate, well I used to always room with Mike Bennett uh, you know when he was at the club and Mike's a good roomie you know you can have good intellectual discussions with him and, and, he, and he makes a you know pretty mean brew as well. <laughs> well uh, I've had the pleasure of also the displeasure of rooming with John Wilkin a few times uh, going back to his practical jokes, really, you kind of go out the room and your mattress is on the other side of the room, or he's, he's hid your pillowcase and things like that. So it's kind of not the thing things you need the, the night before a game when you're staying in a hotel. <laughs>